Hey everybody, TYT Sports locked out. Yes, I am back outside, but getting to the content. Look, Ryan Klo made an absolutely fabulous poke check yesterday in the Sharks and Kings game. The only problem is it came from the bench. Don't believe me? Watch. Stole the center. Stole. Oh, oh! Someone on the bench played the puck. Here's the linesman. He's looking back this way. This referee's too far away. But right here, right here is where Klo reaches over the bench. Stoll carries the puck over the center, gets taken off his stick. Well, it turns out it was Ryan Klo reaching over the bench. What was he thinking? Have you ever seen that? I've anything? never seen it, and I think he knows. So four refs, count them, four refs miss this call, a crucial call. As the Kings are on a power play in the third period, they would end up losing this game 6-5 to five in a shootout. Ryan Klo's explanation, however, simply baffling. Watch. I have no idea what you guys talk about. Sorry. You didn't touch the puck with your stick? I have no idea. You guys will have to see the video or something. So you hear him say, I have no idea what you guys are talking about. You'd have to show me the video. Okay, Ryan, we're showing you the video in this segment. Someone, someone tweet him or email him. Send him this message. Send him this. Send him a video. Send him anything. But look, if the, if the season ended today, the Kings would play the Blackhawks, which would be amazing for me, a Chicago and misplaced in L.A. Uh, the Kings would get the three, and the San Jose Sharks would get the seven seed. They would play the St. Louis Blues, who I believe have 107 points as the number two seed. Now, Jared Stoll's reaction, uh, like anyone else's, would be in this situation. Here it is. Tough call, tough play. You, you, one of them could see that. And, um, you know, they got a tough job to do too. Can all the other athletes do me a favor? Can they take a book? Out, uh, can they take a page out of Jared Stoll's book and just see what a fabulous attitude they have? Yeah, of course he's furious on the inside. However, he doesn't have to put up bulletin board material for the Sharks. Uh, you know, just very, very classy responses from all of these Kings players. They know it didn't go in their favor, but still, they are treating it in a very classy manner. Tim Lywick, he had this to say, uh, the Kings governor, it's a shame that a guy can cheat and get away with it in a game this important. Meanwhile, Ryan Cole, you're probably asking yourself, he has to be suspended, he has to be fined. No, no, he doesn't get fined, he doesn't get suspended. According to Puck Daddy, uh, which is by far one of the best hockey websites and blogs that I have ever seen uh, had this they wrote this uh, why the current NHL rules don't provide an avenue to punish Klo through the Department of Player Safety from rule 56.2 interference a minor penalty shall be imposed on any identifiable player on the players bench or penalty bench who by means of his stick or his body interferes with the mo with the movements of the puck or any opponent on the ice during the progress of the play in addition should a player about to come onto the ice play with the puck while one or both skates are still on the player's or penalty bench, a minor penalty for interference shall be assessed. The appropriate penalty, according to the playing rules, shall be assessed when a player on the player's or penalty bench gets involved with an opponent on the ice during a stoppage play. The players involved may be subject to additional sanctions as pursuant to Rule 28-Supplementary Discipline. Thus, there is no provision for a suspension, fine, or game misconduct. However, I will say this, uh, Saturday's game, the Kings and the Sharks should be freaking awesome. So let us know your thoughts. Tweet at me. Give me a follow at Rick Strom. Facebook page in the description below. Leave your comments. And please do us a favor. Subscribe to TYT Sports. Thanks, guys.